All right, so get creative this 4th of July with some arts and crafts. And uh, Miss Dina is here with Standing By with some Independence Day theme. Dina IY craft ideas. Okay, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Okay, wait. Court's got it. I got you, bro. So here's this, we got, we got to find a way to film what is happening behind the scenes. Do you know who is filming this live shot right now? Miss Courtney, Courtney Dempsey. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Hold on. Perfect. I just have to document. <laughs> okay, ready? Three, two, one. Got it. Okay, we'll okay. show you that later on social. Okay. okay, good morning, everyone. So, is this going to be okay, Court? I'm good. You're good? I'm okay, good. you're good. All right, if you get a backache, get, let me know. <laughs> okay, so 4th of July is coming up, and I know a lot of you are not excited about the fireworks. If you have small children, I am now in that camp. I have never had a small child before for 4th of July, but now I do. And my neighbor setting them off every night is not the most fun Ooh. part of my day. But Stop we want to show you some of the things that you can do at home with your kids. It's going to make zero noise. Yay. Yay. And it's going to keep the kids busy. Woohoo! And it's fun. So, okay, there's that. So, you've seen these at the store, right? These are called the pinwheels. And you can go buy these at the store. They're pretty cheap. But why buy when you can make 10 minutes of your time dedicated to craft time Woo with the kiddos? So, I'm going to show you how to do them yourself. Yay. Look at how cute those are. Okay, so here we go. Oh. Follow along here, folks. We're okay. just going to take a couple pieces of construction okay. paper. You pick the colors, you pick the uh, sizes. If you want to decorate them with a few crayons in the house, let the kiddos go to town. Make this craft last two hours if you want to, okay? <laughs> so, first, what you do is you take a piece of paper. And even if this is from your computer, you want to make it a square. So if you remember the old origami days oh, yeah. of geometry. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, you fold it in half, right? Yeah. And then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut along that line to make a square. Okay. Tina, I think this is so easy, you can do it. Okay? <laughs> so it's all wow. the way folded here. You're going to unfold, and then you're actually going to fold it the opposite diagonal. So now you're going to have four creases in your paper, okay? So it's going to look a little bit like this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors, and along all of the creases, you're just going to cut about three quarters of the way up. So we're going to go up to the top here. Now there is a much more intricate way to do this, doing all origami with no cuts. Like a 3D printer? I ain't got time for that. <laughs> In a 3D printer, yeah. And remember, we want to encourage kids to have something to do for a long yeah, period of time. Yeah. So the longer you can have your kids doing the craft, you're welcome, parents. You're welcome. Okay, so we're just going to cut three quarters of the way up all the way along those lines. Now, here's the tricky part. You do want to help them out a little bit because sometimes once you glue it, it kind of comes unstuck. So, Ooh. Courtney, follow along here. Let me get on this flat piece of Good paper job, here. Court. All right, we're gonna use a glue stick and we're gonna make a big old dot. We're gonna take one of the corners, mm -hmm. oh, we're gonna pull I it get over, it, I get it. and yeah, you're gonna yeah. stick it. Okay? Oh. Now, when you take your finger off, it might not stay stuck because, you know, these kind of glue sticks aren't the most tacky. But you're gonna keep going around to that top corner and then you're gonna oh. stick it. Oh. You see? Yeah. Okay, so you do this all the way around. And then what I actually do is I get a rock and I hold it in place while I'm working on the other parts of this. Oh, okay. Because it wants to come apart on me. So I'm just gonna stick that there. Okay? Stick it. Now, next thing next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a good old pencil with an eraser. You've seen these. And a good old safety or not safety pin paper clip. Paper clip yeah. Okay, so really easy uh, to use for the adults. Might be a little bit difficult for the kiddos to bend these, so you can pre bend them for the kiddos. I wrapped it around no, the pencil. Learn. And, oh, yeah, okay, John's <laughs> working on teaching his daughter how to unload the dishwasher right now. Yeah. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take the end of this. You can do this uh, for your kiddos, parents. But you're actually going to push a hole in the eraser with that paper clip. It should go through fairly easy if you're a mom or a dad, you know, or a grandparent. Kiddos might have a little bit more of a trouble doing that. So you just stick that through so that this is actually going to be where your pinwheel spins. Uh -huh. Okay? Uh -huh. Now we're going to take it out. It's pre-drilled, if you will. Okay. Now, hopefully, this little piece of paper has dried. If not, let it sit for a little bit longer. But you know, with TV, we don't have a ton of time. So you're going to stick this right into the center, just like oh. so. You can actually make this kind of a fun little springy design. You can stick another piece of paper behind. You can decorate after the fact. I mean, this is your craft to be, you know, explored. And then you're going to stick that right back into the end of the eraser here. Oh. And remember, we already did the hole, so it's just going to pop in. It's not going to be so hard. You're not going to mess up all the yeah. crinkles. And then you can fasten that paper clip behind so that it stays in the eraser. And look at this. Yay. 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 So 
If you are at home and you're wondering what to do for the 4th of July, that's not going to be really loud for the doggies or really loud for the babies, but it's going to keep you busy and decorate the house. You can stick these in the yard. You can stick them outside. You can put them all over the place. But your kiddos get to have a little bit of fun for the 4th of July. So, so dang there you, you go. Okay, coming up next half hour, yeah. we're going to do a little bit of a mocktail twist on the 4th of July oh. with some treats. You fancy. Yay, so. Dina IY. You've been Dina IY.